Hi, this is Edgar Third, and I'm here to give you a tutorial on extracting game sound files. The first thing you should try is to look through the game's installation directory. This is usually C, Program Files, the game's publisher, the name of the game. For games purchased on Steam, this would be C, Program Files, Steam Apps, Clement, the name of the game. You should be looking for a sound folder of some sort. If you find a file with the suffix .wave, .mp3, or .ogg, you're in luck, as that is what you will need for the editing program. If you're having trouble finding the sound files by just browsing through your folders, you can try using a program that I use called Windirstat. This gives you a bird's eye view of your hard drive, displaying how much space the different files are taking up. It's completely free and open source. In Windirstat, tell it to scan the game's folder. After a minute or two, there will be a screen filled with colored rectangles. If you see a whole bunch of teeny tiny rectangles, those might be sound files. If you see one or just a few very large rectangles, those could be the sound files in archive form. Hover your mouse over the rectangles to see what the file names are and where they are located. You can usually tell by just that whether or not they are sound files. If you come across what looks like a sound file archive, you'll need some way to extract the sound files from it before you can use them. You should first try searching the interwebs for a game-specific extracting program, as those tend to be the easiest ones to use. Keywords to use are the file archive type, .bsa for example, the name of the game, the developer or publisher of the game, the engine used to make the game, one of the following keywords, one of the following other keywords. I only use about three or four of those keywords at a time. Remember, the more specific you are, the less results you will get. That can be good or bad. If your search turns up with nothing, try leaving out one or more of those keywords. If your search is so general that it gives you too many unrelated results, try being more specific by adding in another keyword. Or just try using a different combination entirely. Here is a list of a bunch of these types of programs. Here is a website pretty much based upon this purpose. Here is a powerful all-in-one extracting program. Once you have found an extraction program, download it and try it out. Occasionally you will be able to extract files by simply dragging and dropping the archived file onto the extraction program. If that doesn't work, double click it. If nothing happens when you double click it, this might be one of the kinds without a GUI, or a graphical user interface. For the no GUI programs, it's better if you are familiar with DOS commands. I suggest first moving the files and the extraction program to a directory nearby the root of your hard drive. The folder name should be small and not include any spaces. So, for example, I made a folder directly in the C drive and called it Extract. Once your files are in a good location, in Windows XP, click the Start button on your desktop, hit Run, type CMD with no quotes, and hit Enter. For Windows Vista or Windows 7, you should be able to find the same program by hitting the Windows symbol at the bottom left of the screen, typing CMD, and clicking the CMD.exe that shows up on the list. What you see now is called the Command Prompt, which is where your knowledge of DOS commands will come in handy. If you have no idea what you're doing, search for a beginner's guide to DOS commands. Mainly, you'll be interested in how to navigate folders and run programs. Tips. If the extraction program has a readme file, read it before giving up on the program. If you don't have any antivirus or anti-spyware protection on your computer, try to avoid torrent and where sites. These tend to come up in search results often, and they are really not what you're looking for. Thank you for listening to this tutorial, and if you have any questions, please post in the comments. I might not be able to answer them, but somebody might be able to, so feel free to comment, uh, because I would be interested too. Thanks everybody, and if this was helpful to you and you think it'll be helpful to other people, please favorite it so that other people can see it on your webpage or whatever, or just completely ignore it, rate it one star, I don't give a shit. Thank you. Bye.